solving for the two-dimensional vector trip. So here's our question. We're going to go on the following trip. There's three parts to the journey. I'm going to go 2.4 kilometers. This is east, 32 degrees north. Then 1,821 meters, north 21.3 degrees east. And then our last leg of the journey is going 5.65 kilometers south. So the first thing we might notice, I've got kilometers, meters, and then kilometers. So when we go to solve this, we have to make sure that we have everything in the same unit. Uh, because we're not using a kinematic equation, we can just keep things in kilometers. Job number one, let us sketch this out. have to start with a picture. So we're going to draw the first vector. The first vector is 2.4 kilometers north, 32 degrees east. So this is our east, this is our north, so the vector is going to be 32 degrees going towards the north. And this is just a sketch. Don't have to be super precise. There's my 32 degrees. And this is 2.4 kilometers. Now where that vector just ended, we can draw on the next one. And the next one is supposed to be 1,821 meters, which would be 1.821 kilometers north 21 degrees east. So north, 21 degrees east. And again, this is not a scale diagram, so it doesn't have to be super accurate. That angle right there is 21.3 degrees. And the length of this vector is 1.821 kilometers. And once we reach this point right here, our final vector is 5.65 kilometers due south. So I'm just going to draw it like that. So 5.65 kilometers. So there's our rough sketch. Uh, two questions asked are, what is the total distance we travel? Total distance is just simply this vector, 2.4 plus 1.821 plus 5.65. It's the easiest of the calculations to do, so we'll just start with that. So dt, total distance, 2.40 kilometers, plus 1.821 kilometers, plus 5.65 kilometers. So we just add them up, and we get 9.87 kilometers. So that's the total distance that we travel. Now displacement is defined as more or less the straight line from where I start to where I end. So let's draw that in. And this is going to be our total displacement. So we need to solve for this red vector right here. And in order for us to be able to do that we will have to go back and essentially figure out the x and y components of this vector right here and this one right here which is the second one and the third one so the best thing to do is resketch them and then we can solve for the components so I'm just going to resketch the first vector and that one was at an angle of 32 degrees and it was 2.4 kilometers. So what I want to do is just make the right angle triangle and label the two sides. This is our first vector, so the x component will be d1x and the y component will be d1y. And as we've solved in the past, d1x is hypotenuse, cos angle, so d1x, make sure your calculator is in degrees, 2.035 kilometers, don't round, just keep all the digits for now, d1y is hypotenuse sine angle, so d1y will be 
1.272 kilometers. And again, don't round. So we've just found the first two components for the first vector. Now I'm going to resketch the second vector. The second vector. Looks something like this. And again, the scale is not super important. So this is 1.821 kilometers. And the angle you were given was outside of the triangle. It was 21.3 degrees. So that's not really that useful because when I go to draw my right angle triangle, I'll call this D2x because it's the x component of the second vector, and this is D2y. Um, I need the angle inside the triangle in order to do the trig. So I'll just take my 21.3, I'll subtract it from 90, and I will get 68.7 degrees inside the triangle. So now we can solve. D2x is hypotenuse, cos angle, and it has to be the one inside the triangle. So D2x will be 0 0.6615 and D2y is 1.821 sine of the angle, 68.7. So D2y will be 1.697 kilometers. Okay, so we now have the x and y components for the second vector. And we only have one vector left, which is the third one. Now this one actually is going to be a little bit easier because it is a vertical vector. 5.65 kilometers straight down, which means it really does not have an x component. It's a zero. So we didn't have to do any work. And D3y will be 5.65 kilometers. But because this is pointing down, we have to put the proper sign, which will be negative. So there is our d3x and our d3y. So now that we have all of these components, our next step will be to add up. Find the total x and find the total y. So dtx is d1x plus d2x plus d3x. And we just simply add them up. So D1x, go back up, D1x was 2.035, D2x was 0.6615, and D3x was 0. So let's put all of our pieces in here. And we have 2.035 plus 0.6615 plus 0. So total x component will be 2.697 kilometers. There's our total x. Now we need to solve for total y. And just like we did with the x components, we're just simply going to add up all of our y's. So let's scroll back up again. Here's our d1y, 1.272. d2y was 1.697. And D3, and this is extremely important, 
is negative 5.65. We have to include the negative sign. So let's write all of our components in here. 1.697 plus 1.272 minus 5.65 kilometers. So we add these all up and we get negative 2.681 kilometers. That is our total y. Okay, now that we have our total x and our total y, we can just do a little vector sketch and solve for total displacement. So to sketch this out, I'm just going to make it like an ordered pair. Here's my x component. My x component is 2.697 kilometers. And my y component is negative 2.681 kilometers. And our hypotenuse will be our total displacement. So we have a nice right angle triangle. We're simply going to use Pythagorean theorem to solve. So dt will be equal to 2.697 squared plus 2 point, sorry, negative 2.681 squared. Or we can say that dt is simply equal to the square root of those two quantities. We do our little bit of math. And we get dt is equal to 3.80 kilometers. Now this is a vector. So we will have to solve for the angle right here. So I'm solving for this angle, this is opposite, this is adjacent, I use the tan, don't have to worry about the negative sign that's out in front, so I want to solve for the angle, tan theta equals 2.681 or 2.697. Theta is 44.8 degrees, which means my final answer is 3.80 kilometers with a vector direction of, well, let's go back up and have a look, this is heading towards the east, so it's east but 44.8 degrees towards the south. So east, 44.8 degrees south. And there is my final vector answer. Now if we went back to the original diagram, this was the quantity we were looking for right here. So this is, in fact, our 3.80 kilometers. And the angle right here, even though the diagram doesn't look like it, because it was just a sketch, this is an angle of 44.8 degrees.